another week in my life in New York City. My name is Danielle. If you're just joining, subscribe down below. It is Tuesday morning and I have some special guests here with me. Hi girl. <laughs> my dad's here and then Freddie is here as well. He's on a run right now on the west side of highway, thriving. They've been here for a couple days. Uh, my dad has been so sweet and has hung up some things for me. He gets to see my apartment for the first time, which has been so fun. So him and I are about to go for a walk, just get outside. I kind of want an OPP from Jewish Generation, a little protein smoothie. And then tonight I am taking Freddie to his first red carpet movie premiere. I got invited to the Transformers 1 movie premiere and I was like, this is perfect timing. It's when Freddie's gonna be here. I could take Freddie to his first red carpet. Um, he like brought his suit and they're getting it. He's getting it pressed at the dry cleaners right now. So I'm really excited about that, but it'll be really fun. And we're celebrating my dad's birthday. because my dad's birthday was last week. My birthday's on Friday. They're here, to, they're here till Thursday. Freddie's coming on the podcast tomorrow. We had a really lovely dinner last night, but that was in my last vlog. So if you didn't watch my last vlog, that's kind of when they got here. But it's just going to be a week in my life doing some home improvements. I finally bought a plant, a live plant that's getting delivered tomorrow. So just little things like that, but we're gonna head on our walk now. Welcome back to another week in my life. So we're trying to figure out the perfect placement of my mirror. So it's definitely a little awkward right now. I know I need to move it. Okay, he thinks it looks better I guess it's like centered with the we wall now. It's just it behind the couch. Yeah, but you're not looking. But. I think we could perfectly center it. It's not perfectly centered. True, we could perfectly center it. We're going to both have to do what we did before you. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm coming. So we're going to go over a couple Okay, let's see that. And then obviously the coffee table will be going here. That's why. That's why the couch has so to be out. Perfectly centered. I think that's, yeah, I think Sierra said that the couch would be a little bit in the mirror's way. Yeah, just for my outfit of the day is now the couch is really in it, but that's fine. And the reason I have the couch this way is so I have enough room for the coffee table to go there without the coffee table being too close to the console. So that's that. Also, yeah, I told you guys we bought a plant. I got a plant, it's coming tomorrow. I can't wait. Also, I told the boys I like to have it on. Not all the way on, but like, I don't like the black screen. That's the whole point of the Samsung frame. So I'm gonna half turn it off, which puts like the frame. They have it on like a rotating one because they didn't like my artwork. <laughs> so this is like a rotating artwork one. I said, okay, we'll do that this week for you guys. Okay, it's a little bit later. I just had Glam Squad come and I got my hair done. I love it because we have a movie premiere tonight. Freddie's so excited. He just picked up dry cleaning for me and he brought his suit to get pressed. So we have a, an, a dazzling evening tonight. My dad and I are both eating Chipotle. <laughs> and I'm about to do my makeup. I really need to do my makeup actually because we have to leave in about 50 minutes. So I also need to finalize which outfit I'm wearing. Um, I, well, they're both brown dresses, so. I just a brown dress of sorts, but I'm so excited. Chris Hemsworth's in this movie, Scarlett Johansson's in this movie. We did realize it is animated, so it's a voiceover. So I really hope they're gonna be there. I think they're gonna be there. It's like a red carpet, it's a whole thing with Paramount, the whole nine yards. So feeling hopeful about it. Also, I got a new towel wrap. You guys know I love my black towel wrap, but this one is a little bit longer and it's like soft and the Velcro is not as uncomfortable on my skin, so. I do like this one. I have an Amazon shop that's linked down below that I'll have this on, but we love it. Guys, yeah. the Electric Picks team is here. MJ's here, we got the girls, and I got a special delivery from the Hive Electric Picks collab and their new fall collection. And I'm like, wow, I just get to pick 
all these different jewels. This is so fun. They're dressing me for my movie premiere tonight, basically. That's so these are for. the necklaces. Thank you. Yes, here there's a silver one. Yeah, I need some. Oh yeah, I want matches the little one. That'll you be shake perfect. It out, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, MJ. This is so cute. And it matches with this one yeah. that I got. I'm so excited. But look at guys, look at these. I was telling them I might wear these to the movie premiere tonight. And the um what was this? The runway necklace? Yeah, yeah obsessed. Thank you, MJ. Thank you guys so much. Oh. And I can't wait. All three of us are gonna yeah. try that after it's you guys very leave. Shareable. Yeah, it's, it's very, very shareable. Very this spot is like it looks good. Guys, people literally wait starting at 5 a.m. at the Hive in Hoboken to like get one of these. So I feel very privileged. I have to finish getting ready, but I have to try this. Dad, do you want to try or oh well dad will be here. This will be dad's late night snack. Yeah. This is the banana pudding cinnamon bun. Mmm. No, I feel like we need to put it in the microwave. Mmm. Thank you, Electric Pitch. Okay, I miraculously got ready in time. My dad helped us steam our things. I've got lots of Patrick Ta body glow on. Um, this dress is from Jazz, her collection with Lulu's. She did an edit with Lulu's and I got to pick out a couple of things and I absolutely love this brown dress. Necklaces from Electric Picks, they literally just dropped it off. Earrings are also Electric Picks, of course. And that is the outfit. Time. Freddie wanted to go to catch steak. <laughs> We're eating good tonight. Love it. Came to my roof after the premiere, and I mean, dang, this is the life. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. We had the absolute best time last night, and then we came back and we went to my roof. Sorry, Freddie. These, these eggs aren't as good as the ones you made the other day. I like soft eggs, and so does Freddie. And these are just not as soft. Someone's at the door. I just got a flower delivery. Beautiful white flowers. Oh, they're from Katie. Happy birthday, Danny. I can't wait to see you continue to shine in your 26th year. Love you so much. That's so nice. They're so pretty. We had the best time. Freddie thrived. He got in a lot of the photos. He was like, that's so cool. Like, the photographers would be like, wait, look here, look here. Like, so fun. And I hadn't been to a premiere in a while, so that was really exciting for me. Also saw Chris Hemsworth. Scarlett Johansson was not there. Apparently she was at the London premiere. Casual. Um, who else was there? Keegan Michael Key. Oh, someone else was there that I got excited about. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to my vlog, but like also you. Who was there that I was like, oh my god, and you were like Oh, well, the TikTok little girl who like interviews people on the red carpet, she was epic. Um, oh my God. But Freddie, who was the guy? And I was like, he was there. And you were like, yeah. I can't think. But um, star studded, so fun, great experience. And then we came back, yeah, and there was a fire up on my roof. Like someone had turned it on. So we just enjoyed that. No one was there. So we sat there and it was so lovely. So I was wearing this little park sweatshirt some boxer pants and it's kind of like, it's giving Independence Day, <laughs> but I like it. So it's kind of like an overcast day today. I'm filming an episode of AM Uncovered with Cody Rigsby from Peloton. I'm so excited. And then um, Freddie and Sal are coming on the podcast today. So we've got a big day. Just finished filming. This is Katie, my amazing videographer. We just finished filming with Cody. It was amazing. Now I'm gonna go meet my dad and brother in Soho for, Oh yeah, are you leaving? Bye. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. 
Now I'm gonna go meet my dad and brother for lunch. I forgot the San Gennaro Food Festival is happening in Nolita right now. So I'm walking through it, looking for my brother and my dad. New York in September, there's always something, something, something going on. I mean, always, but like, especially in September. Hello. Ready to go. I know. I'm so excited, guys. We got a table at Ruby Rosa. I have always wanted to try this pizza. And they have this little outdoor spot as a part of the San Gennaro Fest. So, very exciting. Spice season. What is this? A little pumpkin spice cold brew. With cold foam? Mm -hmm. Dad got a black coffee. We're about to do some shopping. I got a Starbucks iced latte decaf. It is hitting extra today. Mm. So good. And we're in Soho. I love Soho. We were successful at David Yurman. I love this bag. And Freddie got a necklace. Yep. Your chain, it looks so Your nice. Yeah, no, boys <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> Post podcast, getting some dinner. We're at Chelsea Market. Freddie wants to see what speaks to us. Well, actually, no. We're looking for Los Tacos Numero Uno. But I like how it's not too crowded in here right now. <laughs> Got some tacos. Oh yeah, I want to use a lime. Came back to the roof one more time before they head out tomorrow. Just enjoying. I love coming up here after dinner and just being like, oh my god, I live here. Good morning. It's Thursday. Freddie has been dying for a New York City bagel. He didn't even get one last time he was here. New York bagel moment. New York bagel moment. So we're gonna go get bagels and enjoy the morning and then I'm gonna send them off. Actually, I'm gonna send my dad off and then I think I'll see Freddie when I'm back. I'm going to film AM Uncovered with Danielle Bernstein. We were what, I'm really excited. Um, so I just see her apartment, it looks unreal. Top, a little black strapless top, some jeans, flip flop heels. I usually take my shoes off when I get there to the apartments, but, and then I have this headband on because I can't be bothered with my hair. That's the fit, I don't know, is it too naked? But like when I had the necklace on, it just like wasn't giving. I feel like if I keep my hair in the front, that looks good. Guys, we have a tree, we have a plant. Got this next day delivery plant service, and you won't believe it, this is called the Danielle ficus tree. So really excited to have my air filtered. It's supposed to grow up to 10 feet. So gonna have to trim it or my dad calls it pruning it. Um, I got this black pot. I had them pot it, which I'm really glad I did because I could not have potted that. I mean, I could have, but it's, it's a big one. It's heavy, but I love it. I think it's perfect in the space. Yay. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Wow. There it is. I haven't had a bagel sandwich in a while. Mm. Yes. How is it? New York bagel. Mm. Been waiting for a few months for that one. Yep, he's been waiting. Saying goodbye to these two. Bye. Bye vlog. <laughs> I am uncovered. Episode four of season two is now done. It feels so good to have four episodes down. So pumped for this new season. Now I'm gonna go back and we have a whole day ahead of us. So I just got back, took a shower, washed my hair. Guys, my dad left the, wait. <laughs> dishwasher was run i could literally cry like he went and found a piece of paper wrote this down so i would know i think it's still being washed right now and then skin fix sent me a birthday cake what that's so nice oh my god it smells so good i'm definitely having some after dinner tonight washed my hair it needed to be fresh because i have a whole day of events and it's also birthday eve like i said ryan's taking me to dinner tonight and then in the morning we have an early flight to Atlanta and one of my best friends is getting married and I'm in the wedding. So we have the rehearsal dinner tomorrow. So I was like, let me have my hair done for today and tomorrow. And then Saturday, we're getting our hair and makeup done in the morning at like 6 a.m. before the wedding. So this is my first time being in a wedding. Well, I was the maid of honor in my aunt's wedding, but like it was a really small wedding and like I didn't have to do anything. I just stood by her, which was so sweet because I was like younger. Um, and that's like a cool thing to say I did, but I haven't like, you know, this is the like the big old thing. So yeah, I've got all my sheets in the wash. 
Need to put those back on the bed. And it just feels so quiet in here now. I'm used to my dad and brother walking around. This has been my favorite snack recently. Snap peas dipped in hummus. I just haven't brought out the hummus yet. Such a, it's like eating chips, like a crispy. Oh my God, it's so good and so refreshing. Redid my makeup. I put on these earrings. They're from Amazon. They're like two-tone. How cute. I actually ended up putting on the same outfit I had on earlier. I just switched the heels. Um, I'm definitely a little overdressed, but like I just can't think right now. I am going to an Apple event to see the new iPhone 16. I'm so excited. They invited us to do this last year too. Brooke's going, but I think she's like an hour after me. But I am so excited because I love Apple so much and I cannot wait to see this new release. So let's go. Quite literally freaking out because I got the chance to go see the new iPhone 16 before they release it tomorrow. So many new features. First of all, you can change up your home screen with buttons on the bottom to be any app you want other than the camera. This is so cool. Back from the Apple event. The new iPhone is so sick. I already, I'm like addicted to this towel wrap. It's like I get home and I'm like towel wrap. I just feel so cozy. I'm obsessed. We're gonna make a salad. I am so hungry. I'm gonna do my favorite salad. I have some chicken here. I just heated up the chicken. Italian mix. Ooh, I need a couple of my snap peas. Mm. What else do I have? Pepperoncini for the salad. And I'll cut up a pepper too. And Parmesan cheese. Where's my Parmesan cheese? In my head, I had Parmesan cheese. Oh, I do. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> The Parmesan cheese draw. Oh, but do I have enough salad dressing? I have just enough salad dressing probably for like one salad. I mean, that's probably the bare minimum, but it'll be fine. So that's my salad. But we have two happy hours to go to tonight and pack. Salad looks amazing. I just have to mix it. This bowl, I love it. It's like the perfect size, but it doesn't come with a lid, which actually would be so nice. So I have like a bigger lid because a mixed salad just obviously tastes better. Ta-da! We're gonna pack, and I'm gonna pack a carry-on for a multitude of reasons, but mainly like this is a wedding, and I gotta make sure all my stuff gets where it needs to be. Also, we're flying in tomorrow on a Friday, and we leave on a Sunday. It's quick, I just need a rehearsal dinner outfit, wedding outfit. I think she's giving us like getting ready outfits for Saturday, and then like an airplane outfit on Sunday. Like, very simple. Oh my God, I literally thought someone was in my apartment, but that's just me. Made a cup of coffee because I'm like hitting the early evening tiredness or late afternoon, however you want to look at it. But I thought we'd do a little packy packy together. Okay. I do believe this is my wedding dress. My, my wedding dress, yes. Um, my dress I'm wearing to the wedding. She's having us all wear black, which I'm obsessed with. Like, honestly, I might do that one day. I love it. Um, it's this black off the shoulder lovers and friends dress. It's like kind of fitted to the body-ish. Um, and there's a slit in the back. So hopefully I can dance the night away in this. Um, but I really like, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm like into off the shoulder at the moment. I'm like, should I bring hangers? Like, I wonder if I'll steam it at where we're getting ready or if we'll, I'll steam it at my hotel. I feel like I'll steam it when we're getting ready. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll start with packing the clothes. So I thought I just rented a dress for the rehearsal dinner on Pickle, and I see that the owner never accepted it. So this whole time, like for two weeks, I thought I had it. So oops. I did just get this dress from Jazz, Just Jazzy's um, edit with Lulu's, and it's adorable, and it's kind of similar vibes to what my friends are wearing. However, is this too close to white? Like, obviously, this is black, but like, is this too close to white? Should I ask Delaney really quick? Guys, is this too close to white? It's like a beige off the shoulder drop waist dress, but like, is that too close to white for the rehearsal dinner? Sending this, I have like a Snapchat group chat with my like friends that are bridesmaids or whatever. Um, for earrings, we asked her earring vibes. She said um, she didn't really care. There's nothing like crazy flashy, like jewelry wise. And so I asked if these were okay. Um, I was wearing these earlier in silver and gold, and I just love these. They're literally from Amazon. I got them the other day, so these will be coming up with or coming down with me. I also got this necklace from Amazon. I'm in my Amazon era. Um, it's actually two necklaces, and I thought it'd be good with the dress for the wedding. 
It's like a little layer. It's just like a dainty. I feel like that would look good in photos. It's just something in case I feel a little bare in the neck. And I love how it came because it doesn't let the things get tangled. Like this is genius. Okay, no one's opened my Snapchat yet. I'm gonna bring this dress as safety for the rehearsal dinner. I mean, I actually love this one so much. I've just worn it a few times. Who cares, Danielle? Oh my God. Um, this is from Odd Muse. It's so freaking flattering and adorable. I have to remember we'll all, I'll also be doing the rehearsal for the wedding, I guess, in this dress. So, I mean, it's just so good. Like, it's so flattering. And tomorrow's my birthday on the rehearsal dinner, so I just want to feel cute. Now, it's not about me at all, but I do want to feel cute on my birthday. Um, so I do love this one. So I'm going to bring that as well. So I guess I'm overpacking a little bit in the sense that I'm going to bring two dresses. I mean, if my friends reply and they say it's too close to white, then I'm just going to take this one out. But wow, I just have black on black in my suitcase right now. I'm going to bring two pairs of heels in case, like, I don't know, my friends were like, are you bringing a change of shoes, like, for dancing and I'm like, I don't think so. I don't know, I'll probably go barefoot if anything. Um, these shoes are from Amazon. If you remember from my last fall for my birthday party, I got these in nude as well. So comfortable, but like give you so much height and they're like just so cute. Literally from Amazon, I'm obsessed. Like these literally could be a couple hundred dollars and I would also buy them because they're just so good. The plan is to wear those, but I'm also gonna bring my trusty Arezzo black. Oh my God, am I okay? Pointed heels. They're obviously a lot lower, but they're really comfortable or if I need to change into them after something We've got a long day on Saturday. So Those are the two heels I'm gonna bring and then I'm just gonna wear an airport outfit and pack a second airport outfit. Oh and pajamas and I don't think I'm oh a purse for the wedding, right? Like a clutch. I have two options that I'm thinking this cute Mew Mew one or my like this fits so much and I could fit my G7X. But like this doesn't really go with the outfits, like the dresses. Like the vibes. Hmm. I have this bag which fits just a tad more. Maybe I'll bring both. Oh see, this is where I overpack. I'll let it simmer. Okay, update. My friends were like, do you have any other options? So I know what that means. And like, honestly, yeah. If I'm even thinking about it, like why, why even bother, so. I'm gonna wear that other black dress, which will make my suitcase even lighter. Um, okay, yeah, they approved the dress. This is, I sent a picture from like Brooke and I's gals in the go shoot. I was like, will this work? It's like a fit and flare. It's not tight to your skin. And they said yes. So, and I love that dress. So no problem for me. I'll just be wearing black dresses all weekend, which is so ideal. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue packing. I'm just packing all my jewelry and this little guy. And I gotta get the minis out, the travel size minis. <laughs> Wait. I forgot I have that same dress in brown. I'm like loving wearing brown right now. I feel when I got like my color, what was it called? Your colors done or whatever. They said brown is better on me than black. I don't know. I kind of feel that. So I'm like, I could, I could do brown, but also I don't know. Yeah, no. I also could wear this tonight. So tonight I have a happy, I have two happy hours. I never have happy hours and tonight I have two. I have my high school, does I went to a private school and they travel around the country every year and like stop at like big cities that a lot of their alumni goes to or lives in and once a year or so they do something in New York and I'm still close to the ton of my friends from high school obviously and I love seeing um like my old uh theater director and this the headmaster and stuff like that so I will be going to that tonight and then also Match Made in Manhattan podcast is celebrating um, I forget how many years, their three or four year anniversary, I think it is. Um, or maybe it's not an anniversary, maybe it's just a happy hour to celebrate their podcast. I can't remember, but it's at PJ Clark's um, and I've always wanted to go there. So I have to figure out what I'm going to first. I think I'm gonna go to my high school one first and then go to the match made one. And then Ryan said he made reservations for us for my birthday, because it's my birthday eve for dinner, which is so nice. I'm like, I didn't know that though. So I gotta like figure that all out. Um, that's why I'm packing and trying to get as much as I can done now because I really need to leave in like 40 minutes. So is this too much for a little bar in New Jersey? Is this too much for, this is, this is probably too much. I feel like a lot of people will be coming from work. So they'll be, I'm gonna wear like pants maybe. I don't know, or like a, a more casual dress, but should I? No, because then I'd have to bring a different pair of shoes. Yeah, we'll just keep the black, but I do have to remember I have this dress. Okay, I'm ready. I feel like this is the perfect 
outfit for all of my occasions tonight and I feel good in it, which I feel like is very important. Let me just show you guys in the mirror. This dress is from Revolve. I think it's from Mariana Hewitt's collection. I love it. I just got it. It's so good. Wearing these heels from DSW. They're just really comfortable. I love a pointed toe. And then... Yeah. Oh, and then this bag I have from Rebag. It's a loan and it's literally so cute. It's like a little Chanel bag. I can't fit my phone in it. So I'm not, oh, I could just put my phone in here when in need. But yeah, definitely kind of wishing I got a spray tan. We all agreed as bridesmaids to either not spray tan or get a light self tan spray tan sitch. So we're all like on the same vibe. And now I'm like, I thought I was on the same vibe. I look, I look paler in the video than I do in person, but still it's a little scary. Anyways, let's go have fun. I hope I don't get too drunk because I have things to do. <laughs> Cheers. Yay, high school. Leaving my high school reunion now. That was so fun. They were like, don't leave. I was like, I have to go support my match made people now. So I'm on my way to PJ Clark's in Brookfield Place. And I can't wait to see them. They're celebrating three years. We are now at Brookfield Place. <laughs> It feels funny being in a mall right now, but we're going to PJ Clark's and I've always wanted to go here. It looks so cute. My number one favorite restaurant in New York, Bar Primi. Good job, Ryan. Birthday dinner. Oh, wow. This is my favorite, spaghetti pomodoro. All right, I'm gonna make a wish. Ready? Go. <laughs> All right, that is a wrap for my birthday or for my vlog. Well, no, I'm not gonna vlog in the morning. We have to leave early for the airport, but um, Ryan and I brought my cake up to the roof and I wished myself a happy birthday. Ryan bought me flowers, which is really nice. I have like a literal florist in my apartment right now. Wait, Ryan, do you like my tree? Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's great. It's alive. That, it, I believe it. And it's called the Danielle Ficus. So I was like, I have to get it. It's, it's literally called Danielle. So tonight was so fun. I had the best time. And I'm so full now. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. And I'll see you guys next time for next video. Bye.